Hello all and welcome to my second video. I do apologise in advance for the video quality, which I will improve in forthcoming videos, I promise you. Anyway, today I'm going to show you how to make this fate heart. It's quite simple, it doesn't have to be fate, it doesn't have to be that font, it doesn't have to be a heart even. I'm just showing you how to get the um, desired effect. You will need to download a brush set, uh, it's called Flight of Grey um, Sprays and Splatters Brush Set 2, which I will put into the um, description for you to download. Um, I'm going to make our canvas 650 by 650 pixels. And what I'm going to start off doing first is I'm going to make a new layer, and then I'll quickly, well if you, don't, if you haven't already, press D to make your um, things normal. Uh, your colors normal and then fill in the background black next off get a heart picture this one here which you can get off just by searching heart on google and paste it into the image then resize it resize it center align it and after you've applied the transformation just get rid of all the white and there's your heart Okay, next off what you're going to need to do is to make a new layer and then you want to select the brush kit that we just downloaded. Make your make your colours white, get the brush kit on and, and as you can see the uh, normal size of it is way too big for what we want to do, so resize it to around 150 pixels or so, as I'm doing here. After you've done that, just start spraying them around the heart like I'm doing there, just bit by bit bit by bit, um, start to use different brushes, Once you, as you're starting to get different brushes, just just, just make a nice effect around it. Um, I'll speed this up so you don't have to, um, so you don't have to just listen to me talking the entire time and watching a very slow progress. Anyway, once you're finished, you should end up something like this, which I'll just quickly compare. Look, quite similar. Not the same because we haven't actually finished it yet. Anyway, next up, what you're going to do is you're going to go into blending options, go into gradient overlay, then you can set any colours you like. It doesn't have to be red and orange like I've done it, which is what I'm going to do now. It doesn't have to be uh, these colours. You can do blue and green, or light blue and dark blue, or yellow and orange, or green and light blue, or anything. You can do absolutely anything. Anyway, as you can see, the uh, heart doesn't go very well, but we're going to be fixing that now. What you want to do is go into blending options, go into color overlay, and set the color overlay to black. As you can see, we're now getting the effect that you have, we have on the original image. Next thing, we're going to go to develop and emboss, and just, just choose any settings you like that look I don't know, that look, that, that suit what you want to do really, that, like I said, it doesn't have to be a heart, it can be a box, it can be a circle, it can be a star, a pentagram, whatever you like, I'm just using the heart as an example. Alright, next off, if it's, what I do, I like to add uh, effects, is just add a few splatters around the edges, like this, you know, get, to, get a couple more, remember to lower the um, pixels to around... Uh, 150 so it actually fits on the screen without being too large um, as you can see it adds, it adds quite a nice effect just makes it look a bit more grungy a bit more wild just a nice effect overall see as you can see I did it on my original as well um, yeah anyway that's it's close to finish now it's um, all you need to do now is to add the small a couple of small hearts to the top you want to uh, just duplicate the layer, make it a bit smaller, drag it to the top, a bit smaller again I guess, rotate it so it you just get like an effect of a small heart popping up. Popping up. We're, we're going to do this again just, uh, after I place this, just the like transformation and there we go. Um, oh no, no, <laughs> something logged on. Oh yeah, just rotate it a bit. Make it a bit smaller. 
I mean, I've, I've just copied the uh, image, I'm just going to be moving it across now. Alright, next up, what you're going to want to do is um, just make that maybe a bit bigger for me. Um, yeah, 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 I, I, I like that really. Okay, next up, you are going to want to add the text. Now, in the other one, I used a, different, a completely different font to what I'm using. Now I'm just using what I've got selected, which I think is AR Darling, uh, which I got with my computer, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, I just typed face in there. Um, now what you want to do now is you want to give the uh, colour an outer glow. Mate, you don't have to have a white outer glow like I am, it's just what I do. But what the most important thing is that you enlarge the size, make it look make it look as though it's um as though it's there but it's not there if you know what I mean. Just get that thing basically. <laughs> Once again I do I do sincerely apologize for the um quality of the video. I I don't know why that happened. I'm still waiting for um, my recording equipment to come through, so I'm stuck using a crappy screen recorder at the moment. So my next video it should be it should be a lot better really. Anyway, if you don't like the um, how strong your colours are at the moment on your um, thing, you can duplicate you can duplicate the uh, layer, so maybe lower the um, opacity or whatever, so you can get the exact strength of colour you like. Um, my, my, mine's fine without it really. There's not, there's not that much difference. Anyway, like I said, you are not stuck with red and orange. You can do dark blue. And it doesn't look too good at the moment, the orange. Dark blue and light blue, like that. Let's see, that looks quite nice. Or, or that, that, that looks nice on its own, actually. And, uh, you could add a dark green, looks nice again. But, yeah, I normally just stick with the um, I normally just stick with the regular red and orange, and that's what it looks like without the red and orange. I mean, I get that might work too, really, but that's what it looks like without the background. Well, I hope this tutorial helped you. This is Tom signing off and heading back to the code. Please sign up at www.studycode.co.uk and get to know get to know me and many other members of the team on the forum.